Uh, what did you find in your first month here in uh, Scafati and what are you looking forward to improve in the second part of the season as a, a player and collectively? Um, the first month, uh, or the first months, I would say, um, in the beginning, I found a lot of um, success early on uh, to come in and help a team uh, kind of be the missing piece um, when in terms of leadership, uh, obviously on the court, you know, in the paint and trying to control the paint on both ends. Um, I think we started very well in that aspect. Um, recently, we've had more adversity. Uh, which is normal. It happens every season. So now uh, for my individual performances, you know, having to find more ways to be more effective. Um, us as a team and me as an individual um, to, in this very important part of the season, have the small details that will take us to the next level and being so close to achieving a, a great goal, not only for us as individuals, but as for this organization, the city, to make the Serie A playoffs would be a huge accomplishment. And I think we're very close to that, but you know, with nine games left, we have to, to make some, some big time things happen. Okay, next question. You left uh, the Israel League back in October and after Hamas uh, attacked and went back to uh, US, to your home. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us uh, what those days uh, felt like uh, as a basketball player and as a part of the local community? Well, at the time I was actually playing for a Lebanese team uh, in Beirut. So we weren't in Lebanon at the time uh, that the attacks started. Um, we were in Qatar. So I wasn't in any imminent danger, but knowing that I was on the, the doorstep of returning back to the country and I, I didn't really feel 100% comfortable with that, uh, as well as my family back home, obviously paying very, very close attention to the news. And although it may not be the whole truth, it's a part of it. And it's, it's concerning for sure, especially being a foreigner. So the decision that I made, you know, was not easy because I'm coming off of winning, you know, two tournaments with this team and really enjoy all of these guys that I met and I still stay in contact with them today. So with that, I just had to make a, a difficult decision that I felt was best for me and my family in the end to just ensure safety in unsure times. But I enjoyed, really, really enjoyed the time that I spent there playing with those guys. Okay, last question. Who do you think is the best center in the Italian league apart from Julian Gamble, of course? <laughs> uh, for sure, I have the, the, you know, the confidence and I've uh, had games where I've proven you know, to be one of the best. But there are some, some very good ones. Um, I mean, it's, for me, Kyle Hines is still one of the best just because of his path and what he's contributed to the European game as a whole and being a winner, um, mm -hmm. it goes far beyond the stat sheet and how many points he scores or rebounds, but to have an effect outside of this. Um, some other guys, I would Tessitori? say. Tessitori? for sure. Oh, I mean, I, okay. spent, I spent two years with Tex um, in Bologna. Very good, very good years. Mm. And even previous to this, when he was in Treviso, had some, some tough battles against him. And he's continued to develop into a, a very, very good player. He's extremely strong around the basket. Also, Miro Bilan, mm. who I've, I've had some battles against. Uh, even when I was playing in Israel, he was in Greece when he was in France. And here in Italy when he was with Sassari as well. So, you know, these are a couple of names that, you know, are at the top of the list, in my opinion, for some of the best centers in the league.